Um, the gangs in Mexico, some people say they're splintering. What does that uh, mean in terms of uh, security and perception, uh, tourism in Mexico, which is important? Where's perception, where's reality, how dangerous will it be? So Mexico has had a huge increase in violence. And you look under the last administration and over 70,000 people were killed in drug-related violence. It has been quite concentrated in particular areas, so this is not a blanket even amount of violence everywhere. There's particular areas where there's much more violence other areas where there's very little. Um, that has been moving some, so much of it's at the border, there's other places where it's occurring. In part it is because the strategy of the last government and with the United States working with them has been to take out the kingpins, take out the leaders of many of these organizations, which has led to the fragmentation that, that you mentioned. Uh, and what that means is many people think that leads to more violence because all of a sudden you have the next layer down fighting it out for control of the territory, so you see a rise in violence. Uh, other people think in the long term that that is the way to get to lower violence in the long term because if you take out these very strong organizations and you have small organizations, very fragmented groups, they're easier to clean up in the end. I would say if Mexico wants to deal with its violence in a long-term, sustainable way, what it really needs to focus on is establishing a democratic rule of law. That is fundamental for the security side, the safety side, it's fundamental for economic growth, it's fundamental for all of this. Uh, and that is the single biggest challenge for Mexico. Uh, and what that means in practice is they need to clean up their police systems. Um, they've started to do that at the federal level, but they have 2,000 plus police forces, municipal ones, state ones, federal ones, they need to spread that out and really start doing that. Um, and they need to reform their justice system. They're in the process of doing that, um, but they haven't implemented it yet. So if they can do those things, if they can clean up their courts and they can clean up their cops, um, then they'll have a system that can deal with drug traffickers or robberies or kidnapping or any other type of crime that comes their way.